Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to keep your Mac clean and how to keep it running smoothly. This is one of the most asked questions that I got working at Apple is what things should I be doing to keep my Mac running smoothly? And there are four things that I suggest you do consistently in order to keep your Mac running well. The first and what I consider the most important is to be aware of your startup items. Be aware of what things, what processes, what applications are starting up with your computer every time you turn it on. From the moment you turn it on, it can be running in the background and hugging up your computer processing power. And so it's important to know what exactly is going on in the background. So there are a few ways to keep track of your startup items. One of which is the easiest, but it requires the most work which is to actually check manually what startup items are on your computer right now. So you can do that by simply going to System Preferences and then going to the Users and Groups option on the fourth row and then going to the Login Items tab. And in here you'll see a list of items that will start up whenever you log into your user account. And you see right here I have one item in here. So to get rid of it, you select it and click Minus and it's gone. And so now, whenever I log into my user account, that item will not start up automatically. And that may sound like a bad thing, but that was for iTunes. And iTunes still works just fine without that starting up in the background. It still loads up just fine. And so the idea behind startup items is to make applications run faster and smoother. So there are some startup items that are okay to have but you don't need to have a lot of items. I don't recommend having more than one or two items in here at any point in time. The other main point, the other main location to look for is your launch agent and launch daemon folders. So if you open up a finder window, go up to go on the menu bar, hold down the option key and go to the library folder. This is your user library folder. And right here is your launch agents folder. And here are some plist files. Uh, indicating that these processes will run when you log into your user account. Uh, if you look at here, I have some. I have one from Adobe, and then three from Cisco. Those are both companies that I trust that I have installed their software on my computer, so I expect them to be here. But if there are other items on here that you don't recognize, that you don't think you need, go ahead and just click and drag it out of there to the trash. Then you can restart your computer, and they will be gone. Another place to look is your computer library folder. So go to your computer, that's your Macintosh HD, mine has a different name, and then go to your library folder. And again, go to your launch agents, launch daemons folder, look in there, and again, look and see where those, uh, what companies are in your, your folders. Again, I have Adobe, Google, Oracle, Wacom. I trust all those companies, I want them there, I've installed their software, and so these will only help their software run better. Um, and then again, another one to look for is startup items as well. This one is less common, but sometimes you will have items in here. And so by managing these folders and knowing what goes in them, you can keep track of what is starting up with your computer at any moment. Another way to keep track of your startup items, instead of checking manually, is to actually enable a script to notify you whenever an application tries to add files to your startup items. And I have a separate video that covers exactly how to do that, but let's show an example of what it looks like. So let's create a folder here and let's call it bug. So let's say an application is trying to add this folder bug to my user library launch agents folder. So let's go here. So here's my user library launch agents folder right here. So let's say an application, like I said, is adding this bug folder and it adds it in and then I get this notification alerting me that something is adding an item to my launch agents. I can click yes to view it. See, oh, that looks like a bug. I don't want that in there. Click and drag it to the trash and it's gone. Restart your computer and you're fine. So that's another way that I recommend, a little more automated process of keeping track of your startup items and what starts up with your computer. The second is to check out your activity monitor. And if your computer is ever going slow or the fan is going a lot or you notice something is a little off with your computer 
always come in here and be proactive about the issue. Check out your memory, sort by memory tab, and see what is using up a lot of your memory. If there's anything in here that is using up an incredible amount of resource from your memory or from your CPU, then look into what application that is. See if you can uninstall the application, see if there's maybe an update available for the application, and be aware of the resources that your applications and processes are using on your computer. I have other videos as well that go into more detail of how to use the activity monitor more efficiently. The third is to be safe on the internet because the internet is where a lot of malware, bloatware, adware can get on your computer and just really slow down your computer, if not ruin your computer. And so being careful of the websites you visit and how you use the internet becomes very important. So what I need to do to help me is I'll open up Safari window and I have an extension on my Safari browser called Watt or My Web of Trust. And it's made by CNET.com. And what it does is it actually rates every website you visit with how trustworthy it is and how safe it is. And so, for example, if I go to a website like Apple.com, and right here in Safari is where the extension shows, you can see a little check mark showing that it's, showing that it's safe. You can also click on this and it says you have green, has excellent trustworthiness, and it is excellent safety. It is a good site, which is to be expected with Apple.com. But they do this with almost every site, and you can see if it's yellow or red, and it will give a reason for it. For example, if it's, no, if it's a website that's known to have malware, or if it's a website that's known to fish or scam your information, etc., this can help you be safe on the internet. And there are a lot of other extensions and plugins that you can get similar to this as well. This is just one that I have found very useful. And speaking of extensions, that is another thing you'll want to do to keep your Mac clean. If you go to your Safari extensions and see what extensions you have running. If you have a ton of extensions, it is going to slow down your internet like crazy. So keep your extensions to a minimum. In my case, I have two. There's the Watt extension I just talked about, and then an Adblock extension as well. If you have more than that, you can always click on them, uninstall, get rid of them. It'll only slow down your browser if you have too many. And finally, my last bit of advice is be careful of the software that you install on your computer and be aware of what you are installing. A lot of software these days will try to sneak in little bits of files or uh, scripts or applications that you don't even know you're putting on your computer. And that, could, that will just sit in the background and use up your computer's resources. Even trustworthy software that you think is safe and, and well known can try to do this to you. For example, Java is a well known plugin, it's well used, and it is a needed plugin for a lot of things you want to do on the Mac. So, right here, I have a DMG file. This is for the installer of Java 8. And you'll see that if you try to install Java, it'll look just like the installation of, of any other plugin. But you will see as I go through this right here in the installer, oh, here's my alert popping up saying that it's trying to install something in launch daemons, and that's okay. Um, it's from Oracle, that's okay, so I will ignore that notification. But if I go back to the installer, here is something that they're trying to slip onto my computer. They have this automatically checked saying, get a Yahoo homepage and a new tab page on Safari and Chrome. And so if I click next, this will change my homepage and add additional content to my browsers. I don't want that, so I'll uncheck that. And Java will install just like normal with that unchecked. You don't have to have that checked. And a lot of software will do that. They'll, they'll have certain items automatically checked, and if you aren't paying attention and just keep clicking next, you will install bloatware onto your computer that will really slow you down. So. Those are my four tips for keeping your Mac clean. If you do those four things on a regular basis, you can keep your Mac running smoothly and humming along for years to come. Go ahead and leave a comment below of what other Mac-related 
videos you'd like to see on this channel and go ahead and subscribe for more Mac related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.